Good morning. Good morning, you great people of the Most High God. Good morning to you. God bless all of you that's viewing the whole two telecast. This is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. coming unto you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated, written word of God. We greet you today. Let's get right into it. Get your Bible and turn to Matthew, the 12th chapter, and the 31st verse. Matthew, the 12th chapter, and verse 31. Listen to the words of Jesus. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speak a word against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. If you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost or speak a word against the Holy Ghost, no matter how much you ask for forgiveness, it won't be forgiven. It say, who's the well speak a word? Jesus said, who's the well speak against the Son of Man? That's talking about him. You speak a word against Jesus, it will be forgiven if you repent. You will be forgiven. But if you speak a word against the Holy Ghost, it will not be forgiven. Read the entire chapter, 12th chapter. Jesus will refer to the, 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 the Pharisees. That said that he cast out devil by Beelzebub. Not by the Holy Ghost, but by the Beelzebub. And dangerous. You say that Jesus operated by the devil. That's dangerous. Jesus went on to say, if you speak a word against the Son of Man, against him. Blaspheme. Blaspheme. If you blaspheme. Or speak a word against the Son of Man, you'll blaspheme against Jesus. Many of you have blasphemed against Jesus. You spoke words against Jesus and against what Jesus said. Jesus said in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter and the 48th verse, be ye therefore perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. You said, you blasphemed the Son of God. You blasphemed the Word of God. You blasphemed Jesus Christ. And you said, there is nobody perfect. Can't nobody be perfect. Although Jesus said, be ye therefore perfect. So you're saying, there is nobody perfect Jesus. Can't nobody be perfect Jesus. You call it Jesus a lie. You're speaking against Jesus Christ. You are blaspheming against Jesus Christ. You're blaspheming. He said be perfect. You say ain't nobody perfect. So you saying ain't nobody being what Jesus said be. You're blaspheming. Against Jesus Christ. Another prevalent war. There is no son of God in heaven. All through the scripture. And let you know and show you. The son of God is up in heaven. All through the scripture. Let me give one. Stephen saw him stand on the right hand of God. Peter said he on the right hand of God. Jesus said, he that overcome it, I'll grant to him was sit with, to sit with me in my throne as I am overcome and sat down with my father on his throne. Jesus said in Corinthians 15 chapter, in the end, he got to put down all rule and submit, and submit himself back to the father. So you say, there ain't no song God in heaven. And Jesus is God. You are blaspheming against Jesus. You're blaspheming against Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
You are blaspheming against the word of God. You are blaspheming. Say God's word right. If you wrong, just say you wrong. But God's word is right. You speak contrary to God's word. You speak against God's word. You are blaspheming Jesus Christ. You are blaspheming his word. You are even blaspheming God. <laughs> Because God said, this is my beloved son, hear him. But you don't want to hear what Jesus said, be ye perfect. You're blaspheming. Warning. Repent before it's too late or else you're going to hell. If you don't repent and stop blaspheming, if you're not living up to it, say, I'm not living up to it, but God's word is right. Don't you blaspheme against Jesus. Don't you blaspheme God. Don't you blaspheme his word. You've been doing it. But please, don't you make no mistake in blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. For you will never be forgiven. All right. Don't blaspheme. You've been blaspheming. Now stop it. I'm warning you. God bless. No, Jesus warned you in his word. God bless you is my prayer. Don't blaspheme. Repent of your sin and stop blaspheming. God bless you. Thank you all for it.